gosh, this website won't stop loading. It's been about five minutes now and it has been continuously loading. It is so slow and it is exhausting. How many of you have experienced this when dealing with a website? This is actually a prank website called Fortricity and it is a website that you can use to prank your friends. It never stops loading. Your website's performance is at the core of user experience. How smoothly your application runs will determine your ability to retain a user and keep them coming back for more. Today, I'm going to teach you about an important tool that helps you optimize your web pages and make them load faster. In fact, they operate faster. Your performance is going to be sweet after watching this video. This all too significant or uh, optimization tool is actually known as Lighthouse. Google Lighthouse is an open source automated tool for improving the quality of web pages. It provides audits for performance accessibility, progressive web apps, and more. Lighthouse runs audits on a set of best practices and generates a report with recommendations for improving your website. The report can be used as a guide for optimizing website performance, making it load faster and providing a better user experience. This tool can actually be found on developer tools so you can just you come over here if you're using chrome and you go to more tools and you click developer tools so this and then after that you just on these uh topics that you see or these titles that you see at the top of your developer tools section you can click these two arrows over here and then click lighthouse lighthouse will generate a report uh, that will make some recommendations for you in order to improve your user experience. But what we're, what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to be using one of my websites in order to see how we can use Lighthouse to optimize such a website. This is my portfolio website and in it I have detailed some of my greatest achievements and if you're interested in doing a project with me do just like uh, fill out the form and contact me. But we're gonna actually going to be using this website in order to sort of like uh, we're going to optimize this website and we're just going to we're going to use Lighthouse in order to generate a report which is going to help us improve the efficiency or the performance of our website. So after you've gone to Lighthouse, Lighthouse provides a couple of options that enables you to pick out uh, the kind of um, optimization that you want. You may optimize your search engine. Uh, you can uh, go for best practices. It can recommend some of the techniques that you can use in order to make your application a progressive web app. But what we're interested in this tutorial is the performance of our website. So that is why you can see that we've clicked only performance and we've unchecked out everything in here. We're interested in the performance of our website in a desktop application and not a mobile application. That's what we're interested in. So now Google Lighthouse knows to give us a report relevant with the items that we've ticked off here. So now what we have to do is just to click over here on analyze and allow Lighthouse to generate a report for us. So we've actually generated our um, report and so this is our report. You can see that our performance is 56. Now this is 56 out of 100. Now, Google Lighthouse actually grades your performance in three ways uh, that you can score either maybe between 0 and 49, and you can score between 50 and 89, and you can score between 90 and 100. Now, if your website scores between 90 and 100, then that is sweet. That is nice. That means your website is performing really good. Now, if it scores between 50 and 89, as such as our website, then that ultimately means that our website is very slow. But if it scores between 0 and 49, that means your website is incredibly slow. You need to actually do something about this. You cannot launch it. You can't do anything with it. This is going to impact your user experience. Right. Now, there are a couple of things here that we should make note of. There are a couple of metrics that uh, Google Lighthouse actually uses in order to get to the score that you're seeing over here. So these are the metrics that uh, Lighthouse actually uses in order to arrive at our 56% score. So let's go through um, a couple of these metrics so that you can understand what they are about. The first metric that it uses is the first contentful paint metric. Now, first contentful paint is a performance metric that measures the time it takes for a website's page's first content to be displayed on the screen. 
So it measures the amount of time it takes for a single, whether that um, content is a um, is a an, an input tag or it's a it's an h1 tag or it's it's whatever but all it does it sees the amount of time it takes for the first content to be displayed on your screen it is important for providing a good user experience as users expect to see some visual feedback as soon as they start navigating to your web page if they don't see, they, they don't see any sort of visual feedback then they lose interest now a slow fcp or first contentful pain can result in users actually losing interest and leaving the page before it finishes loading which negatively impacts the website engagement and conversion rate the other metric uh, that uh, Google Lighthouse uses is time to interactive. Now, time to interactive measures the amount of time it takes for a page to become fully interactive. Now, this means the time it takes for all the required resources, such as uh, maybe your images, style sheets, scripts, and for the main thread to become idle and responsive to user input. So this is a very, very important metric because a low time to interactive is desirable. It indicates that the page is usable and the user can uh, make interact interactions with it uh, quickly. A high TTI can lead to a poor user experience as users may become frustrated because they have to wait for the page to become interactive before they can perform actions such as clicking buttons or filling forms. So you must always aim to have a very low time to interactive. Now the other one that I'm going to mention is uh, the last one actually is the speed index. The speed index is a performance metrics in Google Lighthouse that measures how quickly the contents of a web page are visually displayed to the user. Now how is it calculated? It's calculated by capturing a video of the page loading and analyzing. I'm actually going to show you the frame. So this is more or so like the video that is being created in order to measure the speed index. So it is calculated once again by capturing a video of the page loading and analyzing the time it takes for each visible element to be displayed on the screen. A low speed index indicates that the contents of the web page are displayed quickly to the user, providing a good user experience. But a high speed index on the other hand can result in a slow loading page and poor user experience. So these are some of the metrics. Um, the other ones, I guess maybe you can just like figure them out. But these are some of the metrics that um, uh, the Google Lighthouse actually uses in order to create this performance report. And then underneath here, you have what you call opportunities. So these are the best practice recommendations that Google actually gives to you or Google Lighthouse actually gives to you. These are some of the solutions or the some of the uh, ways in which you can actually improve the performance of your website. So it's telling you, listen, your website is very slow, but listen, this is what you can do in order to fix that situation. So the first thing that it tells us here is to properly size our images. That it not only does that, but it actually uh, explains to us how we can actually properly size our images and it provides uh, some feedback on some of the images that we have. So it actually is telling us that we should uh, size our images before we actually load them. That will uh, decrease the amount of um, time it takes for our website to load. And then the next thing it says is that we need to serve images in the next generation format. So there are these new uh, um, web formats or sorry, image formats that are actually better for compression and they're very, very good um, when it comes to optimization. So you can see that in most of the images that we use in our page, we use PNG. But uh, Google Lighthouse is actually recommending that we use image formats like WebP and AVF because these formats actually uh, better optimize than using uh, PNG or JPEG. Uh, they contribute to faster download and less data consumption. So some websites you get into them and most of the data that is consumed is being consumed is being consumed by the images that you have to download. And then the other thing that it recommends for us to do is to enable text compression. Now text compression works by compressing the text data before it is sent from the server to the client's browser. The compressed data is then decompressed by the browser before it is displayed on the, on the page. This can significantly reduce the size of the text-based resources, resulting in faster page loading times, especially for users with slow internet connections. Now, there are a couple of ways in which you can compress your text or you can implement text compression. You can use gzip compression, you can use Brotli compression, 
and you can use a content delivery network. Now, if you're actually interested in exploring further what text compression is, then let me know in the comment section so that in the next video, I can expand on it a little bit more. If you're developing React application, this is one of the things that you should definitely watch out for because it will significantly impact the, your website's loading time or your website's performance. So it's very, very important uh, that you follow these instructions that you see over here because these are the give-offs that are going to actually help you improve your website's performance. Now, if we scroll down in our Google Lighthouse report, we will notice that there is a diagnostic uh, section of our report. Now, the diagnostics report is a valuable tool for website owners and developers to identify and address issues that may be uh, may negatively impact the website's performance. So what uh, Lighthouse does, it just goes through your website and identifies a couple of issues that may have the potential uh, to uh, actually harming the performance of your website. So the uh, it has uh, report checks uh, for issues related to website performance and security as well. And so this includes uh, issues like using insecure protocols, not using HTTP2 and not using secure cook cookies. Sorry, Each issue identified in the diagnostics report is given a se se severity rating and a detailed description of the issue. The report also provides recommendation on how to fix each of the issues and some additional links so that you can learn more about these recommendations. So this is uh, mostly about it for uh, what we need to be concerned with actually about um, our Lighthouse report. So what I'm actually gonna do is that I'm going to take uh, the opportunities that we have over here and I'm going to implement each of these and we're gonna see if our website's performance uh, score is actually going to improve. So we've just ran our Lighthouse report and from 56 to, to about from 56, from about 56 to about 82, actually 82, that is not a bad uh, score to have on your website, but you must always try to aim between 90 and 100. So we've just implemented all those uh, recommendations uh, that Google Lighthouse actually gave to us. And you can see that it has really, really, really impacted the performance of our website. Now, I do want to make note of one thing, though, that sometimes uh, this uh, performance score can be affected by many different things. Like, for example, if you have a very slow computer and if you have a, uh, a very low or uh, or low connection into your internet connection is very uh, low then this can actually negatively impact the score of your Google Lighthouse. So make sure that your computer and your internet connection are all good so that nothing else affects uh, the loading uh, performance of your website. And one other thing, as you can see, they mention over here that Chrome extensions negatively affected this page's load performance. Try and audit the page in incognito or from a Chrome profile without extensions. So sometimes the extensions can also affect the performance score of your website. So be aware of these various issues before you actually uh, go on using Google Lighthouse. This has been ways in which you can improve your application's performance by using Google Lighthouse. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed the video, please make sure that you like the video and leave a comment in the comment section if there was something that you were confused by and you would like me to elaborate on. Uh, and best of all, uh, please do subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's it from me. I will see you in the next video.